Hi everyone and welcome back to our Food, Fun, and Reading virtual tasting experiences. My name is Michaela Lane and I'm here with Create Better Health and USU Extension. Today we're going to be talking about the protein food group. In our last class we were able to read the Dr. Seuss classic Green Eggs and Ham together and the reason we picked this book is because both eggs and ham are foods that belong in the protein food group. The protein food group can contain both animal products like meat and eggs, but it can also contain some plant pro products like seeds, beans, and nuts. Both of these kinds of proteins give our bodies the basic building blocks to build strong muscles and to heal when we get bruises or scrapes or when some part of our body gets injured. If we want to have strong, physically well bodies, we need to make sure that we're getting enough protein into our diet. Okay, so we read that book together and we had a great time uh, learning about protein and playing some balance games. So today we're going to be doing our tasting experience and we are going to make some deviled green eggs and ham. Okay, so our ingredients that we have today um, are we're going to start with our eggs. So eggs are one of uh, the foods that belong in our protein food group. The other protein food that we have here today is ham. Okay, and then we have food group foods from all sorts of different other food groups because generally when you eat proteins, you want to pair it with other foods. Okay, so we have our protein in our eggs. We have our protein in our ham. And then we're also going to add a few other ingredients to our deviled eggs. Okay, so we have some reduced fat milk here. We also have some non-fat Greek yogurt. Okay, so we have some dairy products that we are going to include in our deviled eggs. We also have some lemon juice and you can get it from the store as juice or you could squeeze a fresh lemon and that would also be good. So we have a little bit of fruit. We also have some deli mustard. Okay, and then some salt. Both of these things don't really fit into a food group. They're more of just like seasonings and flavorings. Okay, our last ingredient is what is going to turn our eggs from being standard yellow eggs to becoming green eggs. And it is a bag of fresh spinach. Okay, we're gonna use about a cup of this in our recipe today. Um, and the only appliance that we're going to need is a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use like, um, like a potato masher or a fork to mash things up, your eggs probably won't be quite as green because the food processor helps to blend up the spinach really well. Um, it might be more like eggs with green speckles in it. Um, it'll still taste just as good though. So if you don't have a food processor, please give it a try. You're just gonna mash it up with a fork um, when we do the blend. All right, so let's get cooking. Let's go ahead and let's start putting our uh, green eggs and ham together. All right, so here I have 12 hard boiled eggs that I have already peeled the shells off of. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cut them in half and then we are going to remove the yolks and put them in this little bowl. So go ahead and do that with all of the eggs um, and come back once you've finished having and removing all of the yolks. Once you're done with all of that, we're going to move all of this aside and we're just going to take the yolks for a minute. At this point, we're going to bring over our food processor or bowl that we're going to be mixing our filling in and add our yolks. Once our yolks are in, we're going to add one fourth cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of deli style mustard, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of milk. Now we're gonna get our secret ingredient, one cup of loosely packed spinach. This is what is going to make our eggs green eggs. And then you're gonna just pulse this in your food processor until everything's blended up and it looks something like this. Then we're gonna come back to our egg whites and we're gonna begin filling them back up with our green egg filling. We can use a spoon or you can use a bag to kind of pipe it all in. Once all of your eggs are full, we're just gonna take some ham cubes and just garnish the top, make it look nice and pretty. All right, now we have our beautiful green eggs and ham. Now, even if we think we might not like it, it's not something we're used to eating, let's be brave, just like the book tells us to do. We just might like it. Now this was such a yummy treat. I hope you get a chance to make it at your own home. I hope you like it. Thanks for joining us for our virtual tasting experience. We hope we get to see you next week.